Hello and welcome to Dancing Numbers. After installing and connecting Dancing Numbers with QuickBooks Desktop, we can start importing, exporting, or deleting the information as required. To import any type of list or transactions supported by QuickBooks Pro, Premier, or the Enterprise Solutions, we can click on Start. On the next screen, we need to click to browse to select the file or the Excel sheet and click Open. Now today, in this example, we will try to import the bank statement. Now you can download the bank statement in the Excel format from your bank website and you can import that using the dancing numbers. So on the right, we need to choose bank statement as well. Similarly, on the left, the QuickBooks transaction or the list type and then we click next. Click OK to the message. Now this is the file preview to show you what information is there in the Excel sheet which you have downloaded from your bank. And we can click on next. For the mapping, you can either click on the drop down and choose the field columns one by one to map them or you can also click on field match to have them selected automatically as well. Now, if you would like to save this mapping, you can click on save as, and you can also click on load map in future if it is required or whenever you would like to import more bank statements and click next. Now the file updates screen shows that it's ready to be imported. We go next. The missing references screen is checking if there are accounts or any payment methods which are missing in the QuickBooks company file, which means they are new in your Excel sheet. So since we have the default set here by going into the uh, settings, I can set the default options as well for the account, for the pay or the entity and also the payment type as well and click OK. Click Close. Now here we got multiple accounts so I'm going to choose as Set Default and if you need to make any changes like this you know it seems to be the income I change it to income change this one also to the income and so on. You can make the necessary changes here and then you can click on create accounts to have them created automatically as well. All right, it looks like my accounts have been created as we have specified here from the same screen. You don't need to go back into QuickBooks and add them or create them manually. Now, similarly, we are going to do it for the payment methods. And here I'm going to choose e-check create payment methods and created. Same thing for the entities. Looks like there is no new pay. We can click on import file. Click OK to the message. And as you see, as we speak, the file has been successfully imported or your bank statement has been imported in just a few steps in your QuickBooks desktop company file. Thank you.